Well, as the weather gets warmer, hot sometimes, and mosquito season rolls back around, many people are now concerned about the possible spread of infectious diseases like Zika and West Nile virus, all during this unsettling time of the coronavirus. Today, our Brenda Matuti shows us what officials say they're, they're doing to prepare for any of these possible cases. Most of Texas has a long mosquito season, but the humidity here in South Texas only increases mosquito activity and the likelihood of infectious diseases spreading through mosquito bites. One thing we do know is that COVID-19 can't be spread through mosquito bites. But what if a person contracts a virus like Zika or West Nile in the midst of this coronavirus pandemic? The Noises County Health Department says the resources that are being used to care for and treat patients with COVID-19 won't necessarily suffer. Instead, the health department, as well as hospitals, would simply adapt. We just would reassign somebody to say, you really need to take care of this one right now. So we probably have two or three people and they would be giving reports up to me to make sure that we're doing the right protocols. Most people who contract West Nile or Zika don't need to be hospitalized, and only one in every 150 people infected will develop a serious neurological illness. Joel Skidmore with the city's Vector Control and Prevention Unit says during the spring they evaluate how and what parts of the city they need to treat for mosquitoes. We haven't done any spraying yet. We're monitoring the weather. It really depends on how much rain we get. Then the three full-time Vector Control officers will target those areas. They target that particular area to make sure that they use more adulticide and larvicide to try to actually get rid of any of the mosquito population that they can. If any disease-carrying mosquitoes are believed to be found, Vector Control sends samples to the state for testing and usually receives results within two days. Skidmore says even through the coronavirus pandemic, the mosquito population and weather conditions are being closely monitored by his department. Brenda Matuti, Action 10 News, Corpus Christi. Now, aside from standing water, tall grass is a popular breeding area for many species of mosquitoes, so it is recommended to keep your grass and vegetation trimmed. As of March of 2017, there have been no human cases of Zika here in Nueces County.